Investigators at Luzerne County identify the suspect who's accused of the brutal killing of a convenience store clerk. Yafet yeah, Rodriguez is now charged with homicide. District Attorney Stephanie Salavantis making that announcement during a press conference at Hazleton City Hall today. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forbeck has the latest now from Hazleton. Caroline? Yes, Nick, at the press conference today, District Attorney Salvantis said Asho Kumar Patel did not have time to resist or call for help before he was shot and left for dead here at Craig's Food Mart in Hazleton. She said it was not a robbery gone bad, but a murder in cold blood. But in all of my years as District Attorney, the murder of Mr. Patel struck a chord with myself, my staff, the police and the community like few others have. Investigators say Yafet Rodriguez is the masked gunman who robbed Craig's Food Mart on December 12th and murdered 50-year-old Ashakumar Patel. Salavantis said Patel was finishing up his shift as a clerk when the gunman entered the store armed and ready, shoved him into a closet and shot him in the head and neck. He crawled from the closet to the counter, smearing blood on the floor along the way. He found his cell phone and dialed 911 for help. Patel died before he could tell operators where he was. The gunman ran off with more than $14,000. Investigators pieced together the case using video surveillance and data from Rodriguez's cell phone. Friday, they searched an address belonging to Rodriguez and found clothes in a trash bag, identical to what the gunman was seen wearing in surveillance footage. Salavantis said Rodriguez would frequent the store to play the video poker machines. Given the steps he took to conceal his identity, Rodriguez walked into this store intending not to leave a witness behind. A coworker tells us Patel worked to support his family in India, sending all his earnings to his disabled wife and two kids. Uh, his son, he's right now in education for the first year in college, and his family is a very poor and he lived in the very small town in the India. Malik Patel says Asha Kumar was a good guy. He and the owners of the store are collecting donations for his family. I spoke with Patel's son, Bavesh, in India about an hour ago. He said it was good work by police and he hopes Rodriguez will be in jail for life. Bavesh says his family is now asking for help from the U.S. government. Malik says he will be collecting donations at the store when they reopen on January 21st. For now, reporting live in Hazleton, Caroline Forbach, Eyewitness News. Caroline, thanks. And Rodriguez has been locked up at the Luzerne County Correctional Facility without bail since December 19th when he was arrested for felony drug charges in a separate investigation. And he will be arraigned tomorrow morning on charges of criminal homicide, robbery, burglary, and theft.